So at this stage in our Photoshop satellite overlay um, process, we have our GFRs, which are those solid palette colors that cover the entire canvas, right? We've got three or four of those. And we have our Inkscape shapes, which are uh, brought in Inkscape and they represent the golf attributes, our fairways, our greens. We're gonna kind of combine those two together now to cut those GFRs, those solid palettes. We're gonna cut them using those Inkscape shapes. Um, I'm gonna show you a lot of the, how you do this, but ultimately like everything else in designing golf courses, it takes some artistry, some trial and error to figure out exactly what you want to do and what you want things to look like. So here's my overlay as we have it now. I've got my Inkscape shapes, okay? My fairways, my greens, my rock. Um, I do have my rough and things in here too. I have rough turned off. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna use that or not. Um, and then I have my GFRs as well. You can see my GFRs, I've got my green, I got my fairway, my rock. So let's start combining these together. So we're gonna do this, what we call, what we call layer masking. Okay, and what layer masking essentially allows you to do is slowly to reveal things um, based on what we call a mask. And we're gonna use our Inkscape shapes as a mask and we're gonna apply those to our GFRs. So let me show you what this looks like. Let's do greens first because that's gonna be the most drastic change when we do it. So we're gonna come up here to our Inkscape shapes. Let's go highlight, let's turn them on and let's turn everything off except for the layer we wanna work with, which is our green layer right here. And let's come up here. We have this tool up here, this magic wand tool, or you can hit it with a W, but here's the magic wand tool. And we got some options up here. When we had the magic wand tool selected, we get some things up here. Um, and what we can do is we want to select, um, select and mask. Let's see, we're gonna sample, we're only gonna sample the layer that we're on, which is green. So you see the sample all layers, we don't want that checked because we only wanna sample the layer that we're on, which is the green layer, okay? And we don't want it contiguous. We want to select everything. Let me show you the difference here. So if I have contiguous checked, I'm gonna zoom in here. And if I select one of these greens, it's just gonna select this green right here. None of the other ones are selected. Now I could come over here and I could hit add and I could select this one. And you can see that now I have three of them selected four of them selected, five of them selected, okay? Um, if I go back to here, this is a new selection. So it's just gonna select this one, I start all over again. There's gotta be a faster way to do this. There is. If I come over here and I uncheck contiguous, it'll select everything of that same color. So now I do that, you can see all the greens here are the entire layer are now selected, okay? They are selected. So you can see that little, you know, area behind that. So I have all those greens selected at this point. Now, what I can also do is now let me go down here and let me, if you see, I turn off my Inkscape shapes now and you can see, I still have that area selected, even though I turned off my Inkscape shapes, that's still a selection. And if I come down here to green, okay, and select it, I can create a thing called a normal mask. So let me come up here, go to layer, uh, I forget where my image layer, ah, layer mask. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, reveal selection. Now make sure that I am, I'm on my green GFR, reveal selection. What this is gonna do is any place that I have selected, which is my greens for my Inkscape shapes, it's gonna reveal my green color from my GFR. So I'm gonna hit reveal selection. And now you can see, let me turn off my other GFRs. Just those areas that I have my green is selected, okay? Um, now that's great, except a problem we have, and you won't see it until we go into Unity, is we have a hard edge here. And this edge is gonna be, you're gonna see this in Unity. We want things to be smoothed out a little bit. So let me start over again. Let me delete layer mask. So now I have no mask and my green GFR is now covering my whole canvas again. So I'm gonna show you now a different way to do this. Let me come back up here to my Inkscape series. Let me go to green, highlight that. Magic wand tool again. And I selected all my greens. So all my greens are now my selection. I can hide this go down to my green again, and I'm gonna come up here to select, 
modify and I'm going to expand my selection and I'm just going to expand this by say four pixels and it's going to be hard to see but when I do this this selections that I have up here they're just going to go a little bit bigger you might not have seen that but it definitely happened it's just four pixels it's very subtle okay so now I have my green selected again but they're just a little bit bigger than they were before well that still doesn't get rid of my hard edge but I can do that by using this other functionality so let me come back up here to select modify and feather now what feather will do is it'll feather out or blend that selection um, this number of pixels so I expanded that four pixels so I'm going to blend also over four pixels and you need to play with these numbers expand your selection by different and then pull things into unity which I know I haven't shown you yet but these are definitely things you need to play with so now I've got that feathered and expanded now let me show you the difference when I do this normal mask uh, where was it layer layer mask reveal selection and now you can see when I zoom in here that the edges are now fuzzy okay I do not have a hard edge anymore so now this will be much smoother when I use this satellite image inside of unity all right now I'm going to do the same thing with some of these other things so let me do the same thing I'm going to show you fairway I'll show you the process again for fairway so I'm going to come up here let me hide let me turn on my Inkscape shapes again and maybe I can zoom in on a fairway so here so you guys get an idea of what this will look like so there are my fairways right and I'm going to do my magic selector tool Oop, I got to be on my fairways layer here magic selection tool if you don't find that you can't select anything you're probably have the wrong layer highlighted all right so now I have all my fairways highlighted I'm going to go up here to select modify expand and I'm going to expand those six a little bit more than I did for the greens and now you can see that that selection went out okay and it's smart enough to start connecting these selections together so you can see that that is out six now and I'm also going to do the select modify feather and I'm going to feather that six pixels as well now you can't see the difference here but let me hide my Inkscape shapes go down to my fairway GFR go to my layer layer mask reveal selection oops I have to turn it on and now you can see that I've got my fairway texture or coloring here and I've got a nice soft edge to it and it's actually blended in here to my green as well this is also blended I know it looks blurry but that's actually what we're looking for because we're trying to blur our lines in our satellite image so you get the idea here of how I can take my Inkscape shapes and apply them to my GFRs so let me do the same thing now I'll show you my rock one as well so let me come back up here turn my Inkscape shapes back on let me turn my rocks on now back up so I can see those there are my rocks I'm going to select that oops I have to be up here in my rock layer so I got that now all my rock layers are selected I'm gonna go up here to select modify and I'm gonna expand this one out quite a bit I'm gonna expand this one out to like eight and then I'm gonna do select again modify feather and I'm gonna feather this one only six now I'm gonna hide this come down here to rock reveal rock and then I'm going to go up here to layer, layer mask, reveal selection. And now you can see my rock has now been filtered out. And if I turn my rough on, my rough GFR, that kind of fills everything in. And if I zoom in here, you can see how close these colors are, but it's going to be look really good in Unity that these get blended. So my rough has this brown in it. I've got my green here. I've got my fairways. And if I zoom out, you can start to see how this is starting to take shape.